I always say to anybody in family business, if your kids can't give away money successfully together, they're not going to function very well in the family business. Hello, I'm Dan Richards. Welcome to Money Insights. This is one of a number of conversations I'm having with the Hausner, formerly a senior psychologist with the Beverly Hills School District. And I want to talk to you about uh, the role of charitable giving uh, in affluent families, particularly as it relates to kind of, of communication with their children. I think that the whole philanthropic initiative of a family is critical for healthy families. First of all, I view wealth and, uh, and the, the dealing of a family's wealth in four different capital accounts. Because families have human capital, they have intellectual capital, they have financial capital, and they have social capital, which is the entire philanthropic initiative. And I use the philanthropic initiative of a family not only for the external mission statement, which is to make the world a better place, but what it does internally. One of the, one of the issues, for, you know, I'll give you an example of, of, of how we use this. Human capital, one of the issues in human capital is how do you make collaborative decisions? Particularly if you have strong parents. If you have a strong first generation wealth creator, the model the children see is kind of my way or the highway. Yeah, I make all the decisions. I make the decisions right. because strong parents right. make decisions. Right. They are, they are, and particularly was, people that have created wealth are not shy in retiring. So the model is follow me up the hill <laughs> with your mouth shut. Now, here we've got assets that are created, and then we say, next generation, here, share and collaborate. And they haven't a clue. Here's the family business. Run it together collectively. And the only model leadership that they saw was my way or the highway. Well, through philanthropy, we get people with collaborative decision making. How do we collaborate? How do we come to mutual conclusions? So I always say to anybody in family business, if your kids can't give away money successfully together, they're not going to function very well in the family business. So first we use it to help collaboration. Now I'm very interested in uh, fiscal literacy, that people become financially responsible. So I, I think that a family can, they, if they have a family foundation, then, they, then it, there's a whole investment program. Right. But let's assume there's not a foundation. I think you take a sum of money that you want to give to philanthropy and you let kids watch how it gets invested. You make a separate investment pool and you let them understand how you invest money to make returns that then you will then give to charity. And are they, do, are they participating? They are in, participating. So they're Absolutely. helping decide where you should they're invest They're making that the money. decision. And also now let's look at the charity that we want to give money. Let's look at the balance sheet. Let's do some due diligence and see how they use the money. So now you're teaching a little bit of due diligence on how that money is being used. But if I'm the family leader, now I have a problem because I have that tendency to want to make all the decisions, right? So it sounds like I may have to stifle that impulse. You will have to recognize that if you want this family to be successful generationally, we have to build these skills. And that doesn't mean that you cannot give the bulk of the money away to your own favorite charity, but it means you allocate a certain amount that collectively the family learns to function as a group. Now the interesting thing about using philanthropy as an empowerment tool is if you say to an eight-year-old, this family wants to be philanthropic and so we're going to let you have a small sum, you find a charity and I want you to go and write a report about why we should give money to that charity. The eight-year-old goes to the Humane Society and finds out why they may need some money and now you let them give $500 grant to the Humane Society. At the end of the year, this eight-year-old has to go back and find out what the money was used for and make a report. Now, do you know what you have done in terms of empowering through the use of philanthropy? Not only have you, has you, have you taught how important it is to do something for others, but they understand how an organization operates. And again, we've got a little bit of due diligence on how that money is used. And when they get older, we can look at budgets of the institutions that we give money for. So I use the internal mission statement of philanthropy as is important to me when I'm working with families as what we're doing externally with it. Lee, thank you very much. You're quite welcome.